What do you think shouldn't be illegal? Sleeping in your car instead of driving drunk? To the people responding, it's called APC or actual physical control in most states. You cannot have keys to the vehicle you're sleeping in anywhere on or around you. Like, if they search the car and find the keys in the trunk. Jail, pocket, jail, floorboard, jail, threw them in the woods in an easy to find place. Jail, beside this, they can still take you to jail for public and talks. It's best to just not be drunk around a vehicle at all. Pirating video games which are no longer being sold in retail. If I want to get my ass handed to me in Battletoads, I shouldn't have to go to 20 different used game stores to pay $200 for a copy of the game in a Nintendo system is your. In a similar vein, people setting up servers for games that have long since been taken down and have developers sitting on code they refuse to release or do anything with. Like with City of Heroes. Totally get why private servers would be illegal if the game is still in operation and earning money. But there are a ton of old online games that will fade into obscurity when there's maybe a 100 or so fans that would love a chance to quietly play the game again. Like Wildstar and stuff, as long as the person running the server isn't trying to profit off of it. I don't see what the big deal is for like 50 people to be logged into a small private server enjoying a game that they love. Let's say someone has 20 bucks and wants their wiener touched. Someone else needs 20 bucks and is willing to touch wiener. Assuming they're both consenting adults. I don't see a problem here. Making it legals gets rid of the pimp's power which is the whole problem monsieur. Think of all the influencers who would jump at this. If you join the military at 18 and have a chance to see combat you should have access to everything a 21 year old has. It doesn't make any sense that 18 is old enough to die for your country or see your friends die yet. Too young to have a beer. The age of adulthood should just be consistent across the board. I don't personally care whether it's 18, 21 or somewhere in between. Just make it all the same age. If you're old enough to be shipped off to war, be charged for a crime as an adult and put yourself tens of thousands of dollars in debt, then you're old enough to drink, smoke, boat, buy a gun, etc. Pumping my own gas in New Jersey. I have seen the way people from NJ drive and I think it's okay to keep something that dangerous away from the monsieur. Assisted suicide, given proper process. Euthanasia, I think some countries have legalized it in case of terminal illness. I always remember the story of that young woman who had a terminal illness and feared that she would die of fecal vomiting, which happens when your bowels just shut down, and the poop has to come out somewhere, so instead it comes through the mouth. Many patients die through choking on their own fecal matter. She tried to appeal and support organizations that also supported assisted suicide so these people could die with dignity. Yet in the end, she died the exact way she feared. I believe she was already in an ear, if not full, comatose state and feces dripped from her mouth, which her brother wiped away and she died very shortly after. Imagine forcing people to choke on their own shit rather than to just allow them willingly and of sound mind, to terminate their own lives with dignity, whistle-blowing on the government, even if it was legal you would still probably end up dead in a hotel room three weeks later. Now you wouldn't get killed, but the backlash would be so bad you'd be depressed to the point of committing suicide in a room, with a broken window and five gunshot wounds to the head. Prostitution the idea that a person cannot commoditize their own body for profit as they see fit implies that a person does not own their own body. The government does. Handling a salmon suspiciously. What like fish Jenga? Drinking in public, open container laws. They don't really do anything. Further, there are already laws to regulate behavior in public which can be used to curtail any potential unwanted behavior resulting from it seems to be one of those things that's only illegal in america legalization of wild drugs including heroin 
Switzerland had a heroin epidemic a decade and a bit ago and legalized heroin, providing it for free to all addicts who signed up. All you had to do was sign up, and you'd be given the drug to consume on the premises in a safe area. Because the drug was dosed properly and the facility was supervised, there was less odds. Because it was free, there was less crime of people mugging, robbing to fund their addiction. Because the drug was pure, the gangs were crippled because nobody wanted to buy shit heroin when the best heroin was available. For free no questions asked. There is always therapy available for the addicts on site. If they say they want to quit, they are helped to quit. If they choose to live their life as an addict, the facility enables them to balance their work life with the addiction. The rates of heroin use have plummeted in Switzerland, as has drug-related crime. Legalize all drugs. Edit. Spelling. Drugs should be legal. I'm annoyed with the way they are handling the opioid problem as here it's so much more difficult for pain patients to get their medicine. Isn't it better for someone to get this drug straight from a pharmacy than off the streets? Street stuff is not pure and can result in overdosing. People also end up on heroin because they can't find the pills. People who are addicted should get help weaning off of the drugs. Ironically, the legal drugs are a big part of the problem here. Exploitative U.S. medical practices created a fuckload of addicts for profit and then abandoned them to become criminals. I totally agree about legalizing and decriminalizing drugs, but the opioid epidemic is extra fucked. Drugs. Although I don't think any hard drug should be legal either. I'd recommend everyone look into Portugal's drug decriminalization and the great results they've seen so far. Couldn't agree more. Spain has also seen great results in helping solve their opioid crisis by offering a lot more compassionate care, i.e. safe injection centers and the like. IIRC. They also implemented a system where if you have a drug problem and are trying to get clean, they will offer employers to pay half of your wages if they hire you. The opposite of addiction isn't sobriety. It's connection. Removing those labels from mattresses. I have a friend of a friend who is still in solitary confinement after removing the label from his futon he bought at mattress discounters 15 years ago. They raided his house almost immediately. I hear they make the sound of the tear purposely loud to tip off the mattress authorities. I heard that after pedophiles, mattress label terrors are dealt with the most severely by their fellow inmates. If you read the fine print it says, unless you are the consumer, or some variation of that. So if you tear it off at the store, of course that is a crime but tearing it off after purchasing is fine because it is now your property. I find it crazy that jaywalking is illegal in the US. Or at least some of it. We don't even have a word for it here. Because it's not even a concept. It is illegal. Yes. But. In my experience, the most that will happen is a cop yelling, use the crosswalk, at you. I was in Los Angeles and a cop yelled at a couple who were jaywalking, called them both back and wrote them both up a ticket. Watch the whole thing, including the dude angrily deny they were jaywalking and saying they shouldn't be given a ticket. Don't know how much it was for, but he was furious. Duels with sword, stops at first wound, share a pine afterwards. I would probably lose but hey, swords and beers, with real swords, death is always going to be an option. And if death is on the table somebody is going to use it to enable murder for higher scenarios. If you want to bring back duels, find something embarrassing and or painful but non-lethal. Duel with dildos covered in pepper juice or something. Tomfoolery with edged weapons is never a good idea. Ems has an old saying about knife fights. The loser dies in the street. The winner dies in the ambulance. Being topless as a woman, it's not fair that it's only legal for many mo. For what it's worth, women are allowed to go topless in quite a few states. In other areas it's not illegal because it's not a standard ordinance for towns. It only gets added if someone is a dick about it. Source. Oak Island. NC was topless beach until the early 2000s I think.
Just if you sunbathed topless near family groups, you were politely asked to move to the end of the island where it was more private. No fine, just an officer politely asking. Then two college girls tried to make a deal out of it. Right next to a group of families with children, refused to leave, made a huge fuss, got on the news. Bomb us you're illegal. Psilocybin, shit is more effective than any prescribed antidepressant that I have ever taken. Yet people can't see that because it's got the stigma of a drug. Thinking Xi Jinping looks like Winnie the Pooh? Dude it is hard to not think in that way. Way to go, now you can never travel to China. Wearing clothes or makeup that show off women's beauty. Interaction with men and other similar bands in Saudi Arabia. All these male dominating laws and undermining the rights of women are just frustrating to witness. Petting dogs. It's not illegal, I just agree that it shouldn't be. Defending yourself from the police if you are later found to have not been at fault for any crime. Iwuma v. State. 315 GA. App. 656. 2012. You are allowed to resist an unreasonable arrest. But it is not recommended to do so. Remember, the police arresting you believe it's a good arrest so they are going to use force if need be. Just battle it out on the courthouse with lawyers. Not in the streets with bullets. Cannabis. It is silly to prohibit a plant with fairly widely accepted medical benefits. That said I don't believe it is a 100% harmless miracle drug but still. Moonshine also. You can make beer and wine at home why not whiskey? I think it has to do with the process of doing it. With beer and wine. If you fuck up you have a bunch of nasty water. If you fuck up moonshine. You obliterate everything in the surrounding area because the distiller. I think that's what it's called. Explodes if you're not careful. Drugs. People who want to use them, use them anyway. Legal or not. And why should you be punished for harming your own health? Banning drugs pushes them to the black market where they are traded by unsavory types who cut up your drugs with potentially more toxic substances who don't mind killing competitors etc. and they don't pay taxes if drugs were legal less crime more tax income for the government greater than why should you be punished for harming your own health I live in a country with public health care so one person's irresponsibility becomes everyone else's problem Monsieur it's kind of the same logic. Why it's illegal to ride a bike without a helmet here. The only way it would make sense for drugs to be legal is if they were taxed up the wazoo. Emo. I'm talking like 70% or more. Along with things like alcohol and nicotine and maybe sugar. In a perfect world. You're right. That is the reasoning behind it. But I think the big thing here is that it doesn't matter if it's illegal or not. The public health care will have to deal with it because people who want drugs. Get drugs. Legalize it. Tax the fuck out of it. Start treating it as a public health issue instead of a criminal one and the burden on society and health care will reduce with time. And you'll have the drug tax money to help finance the health care. Which you don't have now. Accessing the internet in Insert guilty country here. China. Camping in nature is prohibited in other than specific camping places in my country. I don't know about your specific area but a lot of the times that is to prevent excessive damage. That is created by people setting up camping sites. I used to hate that law. But then I realized that the US. CA. Has minimal preserved wildlife compared to countries with massive amounts of forests and meadows like Sweden which has the freedom to roam law. Alamance Ratten. If we had the same law it would be completely trashed and riddled with the homeless. Short-barreled rifles. It's like a normal rifle except it's short which means it's less accurate. Has lower muzzle energy. Is loud as fuck and makes a blinding fireball. Why I have to pay $200 and jump throughout hoops to get all those downgrades I'll never know. Supposedly it's cause less than a 16 inches barrel is considered concealable. Reite. Where am I gonna put an 8 pounds pipe that's 25 inches long in total? Almost all laws towards short barreled rifles make no sense when you look at most semi-automatic. 
pistols. Most gun laws were written to prevent poor people from owning guns, which in reality means they were written to create a black market and fill prison cells with poor people. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.